it, it requires a lot of investment and effort. And that is where your logistics service provider has a lot of experience in collaborating across. Anas, thank you so much for joining me today. We're talking about supply chain design within the, uh, the chemical industry. Mm. How important is the supply chain design? Because I suppose a supply chain is not just a supply chain. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely critical. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's something that makes the whole strategy of the company come to life. Um, and it's what will determine if you will have success or, or failure in the market. So it's, it's absolutely critical to get right. And how do you actually do it? And how do you design a supply chain? Yeah, so the, the big issue is actually the, the degrees of freedom that you have for your design. I mean, you could start anywhere, right? So how do you just set some starting boundaries for how to do that? Um, of course, you need to know what is your objective of the company, what are you trying to achieve overall, but you also need to understand the capabilities and the requirements, again, of your suppliers, your customers, your logistics providers, um, because it's, it's only when you have that full picture that you can create the right balance between the cost, the service levels, the ESD impact, and so forth. If you have a logistics service provider, you partnered up with a logistics service provider, how can they help you in, in this process of designing a supply chain? It's always hard to do something new. And, and one thing is just to collaborate within a company to do something new. When you have to do it across companies, especially multiple companies, it, it, it requires a lot of investment and effort. And that is where your logistics service provider has a lot of experience in collaborating across, have a lot of contacts and can apply best practice into that whole discussion. So, so they can be a partner in facilitating that whole design discussion. Most companies within the chemical sector, I mean, they are not just producing one product, but often a multitude of products. Yeah. So how granular, how detailed can you make these supply chains? We basically need to figure out with that multitude of supply chains within a given company, how do you strike that right balance? And, and just like that you, you um, uh, refine oil into different fractions and purify it, you can think of your supply chain variations into being grouped into certain archetypes that fits your business purpose. And then together with the right partners of your suppliers, of your customers, of your logistics providers, you can then make those archetypes come to life and then apply that back to the broader business. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.